Hi everybody, Denise here with Graphic 45 and we've just got back from CHA where we launched our G45 365 program for the year. So this is our new project sheet that will go out for stores for your workshops. Um, we uh, are very excited about the 365 concept and doing that in a, creating a daily book, um, a daily mini for your workshops. Uh, we also talked about offering an alternate version. So we realized that not all of your customers are necessarily going to be interested in doing a daily book. Um, we wanted to be able to, to fit everyone's needs. So we've, alter we've offered an alternate version. So this would be the alternate version of our daily book. This is just a mini themed album. So instead of someone creating and putting in all of the daily pieces, you will just put in your elements for your theme. So my theme was from CHA. It's my trip to CHA. I, I got right home and printed out my photos. So I just added my photos and my journaling. And then I added some extra little pieces as well to the finished um, project. So again, this will be the, 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 the completed book that you would finish in class. And I just went through and added my photos and journaling, you know, the way that you would complete a, a themed mini instead of keeping it and saving it and doing a daily, a little daily bit um, each day of the month, just went ahead and finished it all off as a mini. So I added some, like I said, I added a couple extra pieces to the finished project that we would have, you would end up with finished from your workshop. Um, so I added uh, some of the typography chipboard. There's a little, there's a metal key that I added. I also added some of our metal clothespins. Um, there's this die cut I added here, some of our new washi tape. And then I think I also added some little bits of um, maybe some ribbon and some jute on the inside also. And I punched out some flowers using the typography paper and um, bratted two layers of flowers together and just added those kind of here and there just for a little extra punch. So there's not a whole lot of extra stuff, but um, it's a good way to get those little add-on sales too, um, showing people how to, how to incorporate those extra pieces in your finished product. Um, so I'm just going to flip through this really quick and show you um, some of the different elements that we have in here. Uh, some of the ways we've used the pockets. A great way to tuck in some extra extra journaling tags and, and whatnot there. Here's our the little flowers that I mentioned. Um, this is a pull-out piece. So this comes from the when you create your base with your file folders you'll end up with some extra scraps of paper or the file of the file paper and I like to incorporate those or use those wherever I can. So for this one I just folded it in half and made a pull down a pull down page so you have extra room for photos um, and then you have some hidden journaling inside of there so I like to do that wherever I can in our in our books here here's one of our pockets you can tuck some little little souvenirs inside there there's our tags I just clipped on my pieces to the tag there this is one of the three by six photo mats that's listed in the supply list and for this one I folded it in half and then adhered the back side only and so that way you have this really fun little opening element to your page and we have these great pocket pages so in each of the designs that we create each month you will end up with at least two pocket pages we're going to do different configurations each month so that it's exciting and new each time but um but you will end up with pocket elements in every one and they're great for they're great for dailies because you know you tend to kind of save those souvenirs throughout the month little little brochures or tickets from different things that you've done and i like to be able to just stuff you know kind of stuff all that stuff in the pocket so these are it, these are great because like i said you end up with at least two and you get two of these nice size pockets here so you can fit a lot of those little little trinkets in it and then again if you're doing it just as a as a um as a themed book, it's the same thing. You can, you know, save the little, little, little scraps from your whatever your theme is, and and put those in, in the pockets. So either way, that works really well. It's a great element to have, kind of for any format that you're doing. This is another one of those fold-up pieces from the from the extra scraps that I had. Um, again, you can see just how much room is on here. There's tons of room, so it makes a perfect daily, um, and a perfect mini as well, just because there's so much. So much real estate for photos and journaling and and whatnot. There's another one of our nice big pocket pages. This is one of our fold out pages, um, and this one has the. Um, I wanted to share this with you. This is the little label or the branding from the company of the file folders. And sometimes you'll have that. It depends on the brand of file folders that you're using. Um, some of them I have don't have that, and some of them do. So it just depends. Um, it's not a big deal. We'll just when I finish this page, I need to print out some more photos to put on here. 
um, I'll just do a border strip right across there and cover that right up. So, you know, if you're, as you're cutting these, you might end up with these little labels elsewhere. So say if it was over here, I would just put a photo mat right there. So it's always a quick and easy fix. Um, don't, don't stress out about those things. Um, and like I said, half the time you won't even have that. It just depends on the brand of file folders that you're using. So no biggie. And we'll just take a, a quick look through the rest of this here. And there you have it. There's your finished version of your, the alternate version of our um, January installment of our 365 program. So I also wanted to share with you, I have a sneak peek of what we're doing for February. Here's our February version. Uh, we used the Sweet Sentiments collection. And I really pulled the Valentine elements from this one so that it, so that it really, you know, um, works for February. And it's it make, you know, make a great daily for February. And it would also just make a really good mini um, Valentine gift for your favorite Valentine. So um, we did a lot of really fun chipboard techniques in here. There's a fun closure technique with the button and the keys. Um, just really jam-packed with some great technique in there to, to, to help sell that chipboard. Um, so that's your sneak peek for February. Um, super excited about the program. I can't wait to hear how it's going for you. Um, feel free to email me. I love your feedback. Uh, if you get pictures during your class, I'd really love to see those. Um, and best of luck on your first class. And I will check back in with you next month. And I will have a finished version of our February alternate. And I will also have a sneak peek for what we're doing in March. So again, best of luck, and I'll see you next month.